So the big headline over the past couple of days has been like you're seeing right here from Insider. Fantastic Beasts is just the start. Johnny Depp's career is over, experts say. And I think it's fair to say that probably for the next, probably for a couple of years, uh, he's probably not going to get a main, like, triple-A movie role. But I do see him getting into some indies and maybe some some smaller movies that could really go somewhere and kind of bring him back. The thing that these experts are comparing him to, in some cases, is Kevin Spacey. And there's a big difference between him and that guy. That guy did some pretty terrible things. The thing with Kevin Spacey, or the thing with uh, Johnny Depp versus something like that, is I think a lot of people still like Johnny, and that's pretty evident when you look at this. So check this out. We want Johnny back as Captain Sparrow. This petition is nearing 300,000 signatures, which is pretty impressive. It's actually grown. This used to be around 100,000 something last time I, I looked at this. Now it's over almost to 300,000 and I expect it to keep growing. Will Disney look at this? Honestly, I don't know. It's tough to say, but it's hard to ignore this kind of support. Okay, and then when you look at AHs, right, this one is pretty terrible. <laughs> over over a million now. It's almost going to hit a million five hundred thousand. It's it's going to hit it for sure. And this is the difference between JD and AH, right? AH hears about this petition because how can you ignore this? It's probably going to end up hitting. I bet you this could hit two million, two million signatures. And here's the thing about this: Aquaman two. Okay, she's talking about filming for that movie. I want you to realize Aquaman 2 hasn't even been officially announced yet. It hasn't even been officially announced yet. And she's going around and doing this. Aquaman 2, stupid petition to get Amber Heard fired definitely failed, actress says. Paid rumors and paid campaigns on social, on social media don't dictate casting decisions because they have no basis in reality, says Heard. Well, how many petitions have you seen with over a million signatures to have somebody removed from a movie. I'm going to take a leap of faith here <laughs> and I'm going to say that this is the first time that this is this is the first time this has ever happened. I've never seen a petition to have somebody removed from a movie and that had over a million signatures. I'm going to say that there's probably been a petition for something like that, but it never had this many signatures. That is massive. She's very very unlike now. Uh, I don't know I don't know if she can ever recover her brand. She's running around saying that this is like a, a paid campaign, paid rumors and campaigns. Like she's trying to say like, and they said it for like this bots and stuff like that. She's trying to say like, this is, these are real people. Okay. It's, it's very easy to like not realize how many people are interested in, in this case and in this situation. And there's a lot of reasons for that. It's not just Johnny Depp fans. You have people that are tired of the M E T O O stuff. They're tired of all the, you know, let's just listen and believe, which is what this all kind of fell on. There's all kinds of shenanigans in that case that happened over in England with the judge and, uh, the, the attorney for AH, like the judge's ex wife was like her mentor or something. And, uh, AH is paying for one of the witnesses bills and all this crazy nonsense. Like there's some stuff going on there. And I think he'll for sure get an appeal, whether he'll win it or not. I don't know. Uh, the Virginia case is still coming up. That's going to be something. There's a lot of news going around that, uh, Warner is waiting for the outcome of that case. I don't think so. Um, She's trying to push herself into Aquaman 2, and she's trying to like beef up her role. She's pushing for more time, and it's not because she wants this for her career. You know why? This is the difference between like her and Johnny Depp. She's doing it to give everyone that signed this petition the finger, like out of spite. That's why she wants more time, okay, where you have like Johnny Depp walking away from that movie, like, it's pretty obvious the dude is like a nice guy and she's spiteful. This headline tells you how spiteful she is. Stupid petition. It's a stupid petition. Okay, she's calling over a million people stupid. 
All right. That's uh that's not a way to win people over. Okay. And then, you know, Johnny Depp's out there saying thank you for the support. I you know, it is what it is and I'm going to fight this tooth and nail. It sucks that he lost that movie, but at least he got that payday. I don't know. I just, I think this is interesting, but over 300,000 signatures on that petition to get him back. It's hard to ignore this stuff if you're a studio. It's hard not to look at all the support he's getting and all of the bad PR that she's doing and all of the people that are just clearly not digging her. Like, I really do think that any movie that she is in that comes out, people are not going to support it or want to see it. I think the backlash is real. But it's just funny how she's trying to call all of her, she's trying to say all of her haters, they're just a bunch of bots. It's fake. It's a paid smear campaign. I'm not getting anything to do this. You know, no one's telling me to do this. I just like to cover this because I think, uh, I think the man got did dirty. And I'm tired of seeing people get done dirty like that. I've seen it with the Vic thing and now this. And, you know, it's not just these two. This happens to regular people as well. You know, people want to come up and lie on them and accuse them of all kinds of nonsense and not have any evidence. And I think people are really tired of that. You know, and then what is she doing? She's spitting in people's faces. You know, people are tired of this. Okay. Sorry it didn't work out for you. Well, there's been, this is such a crazy story. You know, you had that one movement like blow her off and drop her and all this stuff it's it's been an insane ride but i don't think his career is totally over like they're trying to say and you know i do think that stuff like this gets looked at will it have an effect i don't know but it's hard to ignore hundreds of thousands of people that want somebody back and that want to support somebody and it is hard to really ignore a hundred, like a million five hundred thousand people that don't want somebody wrong. this could impact this movie's reception big time so we'll see what happens my guess though warner cucks brings her back and this movie is going to crash and burn because of it because i don't think people are going to forget especially if she keeps calling everybody that doesn't like her stupid anyway that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about all this i'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter also if you would please like and subscribe Make sure you're still subscribed. Share the video because, well, YouTube's not doing it. So it definitely helps if you guys share it. Interaction is king. Liking and letting me know your guys' feeling on this also helps. So until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.